Here is something that happened to me just the other day. I started up the Honda Element and all the normal dashboard warning lights came on. Three of them did not turn off. I knew that ABS inside a circle was for the anti-lock brake system and that the exclamation point in the triangle and the letters VSA were related to Honda's Vehicle Stability Assist. That's Honda's Stability and Traction Control. Could both of those systems have failed at the exact same time? I know that they share the same wheel speed sensors. So that is where I started to look. Behind the wheel and tire is the brake system with this caliper and the brake rotor, but I was interested in this cable that runs behind the brake rotor. It is attached at one end to the wheel hub with a small bolt. It is secured by a pair of plastic anchors snapped into a bracket on the suspension, and then attached at the other end by a metal bracket to the body. Oh boy, the bracket is gone. It is actually rusted right off the body. All that's left is this 10 millimeter bolt which allowed the cable to dangle freely and get yanked out of the connector. Well, it's time to get out some tools and get to work. My first priority was to clean off the dirt and rust from the bolt heads. Next, I wanted to loosen both bolts to make sure I could remove the old cable. I then unplugged what was left of the old connector. Fortunately, the part attached to the body was undamaged and still in good shape. The new wheel sensor came attached to the correct bracket. On the body connector part, there was some strain relief and a new metal bracket. They have strain relief at all the stress points. At the other end of the cable is the actual sensor. This is the magnetic pickup that actually goes into the wheel hub. It sends the speed signal to both the anti-lock brakes and the vehicle stability assist. With the bolts removed, I could now pull the plastic cable anchors out. This old cable certainly had a rough life. Now I did struggle a bit to get the old sensor out, but I could now see the hole that goes down into the wheel hub. The new sensor fits snugly, and the bracket lines up with the mounting hole. I then routed the cable up past the suspension bracket and snapped in the new anchors. It was time to plug in the new cable to the body connector. The new metal bracket has a small finger that locates to the square hole in the body. The orange connector actually sits behind the sheet metal flange. I started the 10 millimeter bolt by hand and then tightened it down with the socket. Ratcheting wrench did the same work at the hub. And there it was, the new wheel sensor and new cable installed. I don't know if that's the only problem with the ABS and VSA systems, and I have to check all the other wheels for their sensor cables, but at least I found and fixed one of the obvious faults. But what other problems might still lurk in the system? I'll have to discover that before I can reset the OBD system and turn off those dashboard lights. sensor, scene one, Albert, take one, marker, wheel sensor, scene nine, Charlie, take one, marker, wheel sensor, scene 13, Albert, take two, marker, rolling, wheel sensor, scene 15, dog, take one, marker, wheel sensor, scene 24, Baker, one, marker, action, action, and action. 